right guys, welcome to the deck profile for uh, Yubel Beat. So yes, Yubel Beat is being taken off of Iron Y. The deck is kind of just fell apart, it kind of stepped away from its original origin and uh, just wasn't working anymore, so I decided to go ahead and uh, just replace it. So this was like the last build. Uh, no, I made some changes that I'm not really proud of when it comes to this deck, but uh, whatever. Like I said, it's being replaced by uh, Burning Abyssy Bell, so you will be seeing that up at 1.30 p.m. Pacific Time. So, uh, let's quickly just go ahead and go through this deck profile. So, of course, we run one of each Bell. I should probably be running more than that because, you know, with freaking DN drawing into multiple, drawing into your Bell because you only run one, uh, that's ridiculous. Uh, only two Dark Ruffer. I said the only cards that you really need to send are just your Bell and uh, Phantom of Chaos. Well, well, you can go off with some special summon plays like you Bell and also uh, uh, Malefic Cyber M. You can just just high special, so yeah. I was like, okay, two is, two is fine. The Armageddon Knights, just for that consistency, you know. Armageddon Knights, much more power. So you have a lot more dark targets than usual in your usual Bell, Bell decks. You have you Bell, you have Armageddon Knight, you have Thunderbird, you have Phantom Chaos, you have um, Malefic Cyber and Dragon, so lots of targets for Dark Rusher as well. Armageddon Knight, you don't need to pitch, you don't need to nag, just summon it and drop. Uh, there's Thunderbird, of course. Thunderbird, part of the Bell Beat. There's man able to like hop out of the way of Terror, come back in the 1950 beater, and start poking your opponent while hopping out of the way of Terror Wipe and also uh, your opponent's back row. Of course, through Master Chameleon. Master Chameleon's really good at summoning your Bell back, and of course, grabbing that Phantom of Chaos to be able to go into some Synchro and XC plays. Bruise Dragon. The Bruise Dragon can also grab your Bell, but it can also grab uh, the Phantom of Chaos once again and go into some XC plays, not any Synchro plays, of course. Uh, three Malefic Cyber and Dragons because uh, the stack runs the Mountain of the Bound Creator, so you know, a good way to just win duels is just go Mountain of the Bound, summon Malefic Cyber and start poking your opponent. Or you know, if you have Cyber, I mean, if you have a uh, Terra on the field, you can have a uh, Mountain Bound Creator, summon Malefic Cyber and poke with a 4000 beater while uh, Terra wipes the field. Of course, you know, low tens and highs cannot be destroyed by card effects, so you know, uh, Malefic Cyber would not be getting wiped by Terra, so. Lots of pressure on your opponent. Uh, Wander Rabbit is still debating on this one, but since the deck, you know. Wander, the problem with Wander Rabbit, it, it has no synergy with anything else in the deck. Anything else. It is level 3. If it was level 4, then sure. But it being level 3, it literally, it's just Rabbit. It's literally, you just summon it and just beat your opponent, but, you know, no synergy at all, you know. That game would play, I was like, think about dropping this card, but, ugh. Nah. And, and you love, I mean, Wonder Bravo just didn't do much, so but it's still in there, I guess, in the in the final bell. I was like, ah, it might be useful. Uh and then, in the end I did take out the tanky for it, because it really wasn't even worth searching for the Wonder Rabbit, but hey. The MSTs of course could fuck back row. Uh foolish and dark hole with the two rotas. Yep. Uh three mounted to the bound. Cause yeah, and then I decided to go with two terraforms because there have been times when I have like Malefic Severins in my hand and uh, I don't have a Mound of the Bound, or there'll be times where, you know, I want to summon you Bell, have you Bell on the field, and I don't have a Mound of the Bound for more extra protection. Uh, so, you know, how important Mound of the Bound is in this deck, I decided to go ahead and go with the two Terraforming just to make sure I get the Mound of the Bound, but then that caused it, it to seriously clog, and I would get, like, multiple Mounds of the Bounds and some Terraformings and not have anything to do with it, and it, in the end it just wasn't working. So, screw it, instead of sitting here trying to work on a bank that... <sighs> isn't as popular and not as fun anymore, so I have to go ahead and just take it off and try something new and, you know, meta-related. Uh, we have three a Limit Reverse, of course, because Limit Reverse is awesome, and uh, since this deck wasn't as reliant as Uncall the Haunted, and I wanted to uh, try this out, how I've been trying it out on Super Rice Bill, I wanted to try it on here, so I said, decided to go ahead and take out the Call the Haunted and try the Royal Decree Switch. Um, then really work and now I think about it, it's not completely necessary just because you know you have Mound of the Bound and watch it take it out. I said this wasn't the best idea either but yeah I don't know I was just experimenting I was just trying to get the deck to be better and in the end I just gave up on it. Alright quickly go to the extra deck of course King Fallon I'm search for those math commands really get played Diamond Dire to be able to uh, you know uh, pop your terror really Really just to pop your Terra and summon ultimate and because uh, Terra's getting in the way of things. Uh, him, because he's pretty good. <sighs> I'm sorry, I just woke up. It's like 6 o'clock in the morning doing this stuff profile. Uh, 
Master Key Beetle, because why not? I got lots of Dark Level 4s, and this is probably the only deck that can really pull him off and do some interesting plays with them. You know, like, maybe, like, uh, summon him with him on the field and use him on this to lock it. Uh, Lala Chain, of course, extra sand can put something on top of the deck. Cavalry, Bang Bang, Skate, Skate, GG, Exiton, Cast Out. Uh, this is just for in case I get double wind up rabbit, like summon wind up rabbit, hop out of the way, attack, summon it back. So another one, make a, a Zen main to install out, just in case my hand is that shitty. Uh, some of the synchros, some scrap dragon, because he's awesome. Uh, hot red dragon archfiend, because he's actually out, so he's good. And uh, some Stunner Spark, so in case I ever do get off the plane. So if I ever go like summon Stunner Spark and then we'll summon you Bell, then and have Terra on the field, then I can go, go with that little classic combo. Hasn't been used in a while since builds, but still a pretty good combo. And then of course our three Cyberin Dragons for Malefic Cyberin. So that's it. This is the final build of the deck, so there's a, there could be a lot of improvements with it, but. I just don't feel like it proving it anymore. I know, I'm not really interested in it. Like I said, Yubo Beacon is a kind of deck where it's just kind of falling out for me. You know, I didn't mind dueling with any other deck, but when it was time to record some Yubo Beacon, I was just like, eh, I don't want to do this anymore. So, yeah, it's it's now off and it'll be replaced by uh, Burning Abyss Yubo. So, look forward to it. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed the time that this deck was on. It's, it's been on since the beginning. Yeah, but uh, yeah, some decks just gotta go. So uh, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys at 1.30 Pacific time using uh, Burning Evis CL. Thanks for watching.